what are you guys doing here? A bunch of white guys, you're going to get in serious trouble. And we say, oh, we're just, uh, you know, we're making a film. He says, where's your permit? Well, $25,000. Yeah. <laughs> no permit. Where's your insurance? No, no insurance. He says, get the out of here, you know? <laughs> so I just went over and I saw his name on his badge and his name was Delaney. So I said in my corniest Irish accent, I says, Arab BJ's officer, but we were only trying to make a wee film. <laughs> <laughs> so he turned around, he whooped his lights, the misery lights, and um, 15 minutes later, we had uh, four squad cars, three homicide detectives, and they, ran, they covered their badges with uh, black tape, and they ran the scene for us. And uh, we got some of the best cop footage uh, of all. But in the end, I have to tell you that the film that we made was awful. <laughs> <laughs> and my wife will agree with me here. She's seen it. She's the only one who's ever, ever really seen it. Is it it's very rare to hear a filmmaker to say my film is awful. Oh, it's truly that. awful. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, um, you know, and I realized something about myself. I loved it. I loved talking to all the, 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 the electricians. I loved talking to the actors. And I loved the power of that moment and the fun of that moment. But then along came Gary McKendry to do the short film, Everything in This Country Must, a young Northern Irish director. And he did what I couldn't do. And so I realized that I'm not a director.